My reaction to the study is that Novo Nordisk has got to substantially lower the price they're charging Americans for two reasons. Number one, you're going to have millions of Americans who are dealing with diabetes, dealing with obesity, not being able to afford this medicine that could really help them. And number two, Anna, if we don't get a handle on this price, Medicare and Medicaid are going to be spending enormous sums of money, which are going to fall back on the taxpayers of this country. Bottom line is, they should, Novo Nordisk should not be charging us over $1,000 for this product a month when they're charging people in Germany $59, charging people in Canada $155. The American people, in my view, no matter what your political view may be, are sick and tired of being ripped off by drug companies and paying the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs, including Ozepic. So why, why does Nova Nordis, in your opinion, charge so much more for Americans to get this drug? I know exactly why, and so does everybody else. Throughout the entire world, there are national health programs, which, by the way, in most cases, guarantee health care to all of their people, and they sit down and they negotiate with the drug companies. And they say, you know what, you can't charge us any price you want. Let's sit down and talk about a reasonable price. Here in the United States, until last year, you had the insane situation where the drug companies could charge any price they wanted for any reason. And right now, by the way, many of the new cancer drugs, other important drugs coming onto the market are costing $200,000, $300,000 a year for treatment. So bottom line is what the United States has got to do is what countries around the world do, is start negotiating prices with the industry. Second of all, let's not kid ourselves. The pharmaceutical industry is enormously powerful. They have over 1,800 well-paid lobbyists in Washington, D.C. right now, former leaders of the Republican Party, the Democratic Party. They're very nonpartisan. They will give money to anybody. Second of all, they put a whole lot of money into campaign contributions. So we are taking on one of the most powerful, greedy forces in Washington. And by the way, the, the drug companies made huge profits, huge profits last year, as they always do. So it's quite a fight, but I think it's important that we engage this and that we win it.